far from the front lines, Volodymyr Zelensky mounted a one-man offensive. His Excellency Volodymyr Zelensky. Warning Ukraine's defeat would bring dire consequences. 19 months into the war, Ukraine is at a crossroads, in dire need of longer-range weapons and military hardware, just as Russia forges new alliances to replenish its depleted army. The Ukrainian poor. Zelensky is not only asking UN members for more support, he wants countries to formally stand against Russia. Armenian state television says that a ceasefire has been agreed between Azerbaijani and ethnic Armenian forces after intense fighting in Nagorno-Karabakh. On Tuesday, Baku launched artillery strikes on the region's capital. At least 32 people are reported to have been killed, more than 200 injured. Now, the two sides have been locked in a dispute for decades over Nagorno-Karabakh, most recently leading to a war in 2020. Troops from across Southeast Asia have launched their first ever joint military drills amid rising tensions over China's activities in the region. All 10 member states of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, are joining the naval maneuvers. Indonesia's military says the five days of drills will practice military skills, including maritime security and patrols, distribution of humanitarian assistance, and disaster relief. They will not be practicing combat operation. Marine Corps has now issued a two-day pause in operations for all aircraft to discuss safety. That's more than a thousand planes and helicopters all across the globe. It comes after that lost fighter jet was finally found. It was missing for more than 24 hours. On Sunday, a pilot of the F-35 ejected from the cockpit over South Carolina. The pilot landed safely, but the $100 million plane could not be found. Yeah, last night, a debris field was discovered in rural South Carolina, where the jet apparently crashed According to the military, it was found about two hours northeast from Joint Base Charleston. Someone who lives nearby says he thinks he heard it. Well, funerals are being held in the occupied West Bank after Israeli forces killed at least four Palestinians. Thirty others were also injured when Israel launched an assault on the Janine refugee camp. Israel has confirmed the use of a drone in that assault. There have been several raids on that densely packed neighborhood just this year. Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney wants the EU to share out the responsibility of tackling a surge in migrants that have arrived on Italy's shores. But following a recent visit by French Interior Minister Gérard Damanin to Rome, where he held talks with his Italian counterpart, Damanin says France will help Italy defend its borders, but that's all. So France won't be taking in migrants from Lampedusa. France wants to take a firm stance. There is irregular immigration in Europe, in France and in Italy, which must be combated. And it's not by taking in more people that we're going to dry up a floor.